I'm thrilled to be here tonight honoring Kathy Albain. She's a friend, she's my doctor, and she's just a wonderful, wonderful person. And I'm happy that I moved and live so close to her that I can see her more often. In our family, uh, we were encouraged to do our very best, and, and our parents, even though they came from rather humble um, upbringings, uh, made sure that there weren't any barriers or that we didn't perceive any barriers to what we could accomplish. So I've known Kathy for several decades and we've been very close friends. One of the things that we love and share is the joy of traveling. Kathy has an adventurous spirit and enjoys getting to see things that maybe other people haven't gotten a chance to see. One of the things some people may not know about Kathy is that she loves sports, especially college football and her Blackhawks. I know Kathy Albain uh, when she initially came to Grace Lutheran Church in River Forest and she sang in the choir for a period of time. Uh, now I see her every Sunday in the pews with her mother, Betty, who she cares for with a great deal of love and affection. Dr. Albain um, had a great interest in sacred choral music and helped raise money to commission new works. And this is no doubt reflected from her singing in choirs. Dr. Albain started college as an organ major and continued to study the organ throughout college. And about two years into the major, she was in science classes and determined that that was her gift. And she has such a wonderful mental capacity that thank goodness she gave her gift to the medicine and to healing people. Everybody, of course, was very proud of Kathy uh, achieving her uh, medical degree, but um, at the same time, uh, it wasn't a surprise. In a career, you sort of seek that out. In a calling, the work seeks you out. So I think this is what happened to Kathy, that uh, there was a calling that came to her as to how best she could use her gifts. When I interviewed for this position as the multidisciplinary breast coordinator, I interviewed with Dr. Albain and I asked her what brought her into the field of oncology. And she was very intrigued with the biology of cancer in addition to treating the human spirit of a patient. I've been a nurse for 40 years and I had a lot of experience before I came to work with Dr. Albain. Um, and I think that in the 11 years I worked with Dr. Albain, I probably learned more than the other 29. Dr. Albain was crucial to forming our Next Steps program. It was a program that is designed to help improve quality of life and survivorship in patients uh, through diet and exercise. Kathy's a big believer in exercise personally, and I know that she likes to help out her patients by leading a good example. Dr. Albain's work has focused on two areas breast cancer, which I think is probably her love, but also she's done a great amount in lung cancer research and has pioneered some of the new therapies in that disease as well. It's not unusual for a cancer doctor to specialize in two areas. It's unusual for a cancer doctor to excel in two areas, to have international clinical research that is changing the way we treat cancer in more than one Especially. One of the things that I value so much about Dr. Albain is that she's not only doing clinical research and is a fantastic clinician, but in addition she understands the importance of doing basic science and basic research. Now with the new research that she just co-authored that came out in June, a trial of over 10,000 women, they found out that many women now won't have to have chemotherapy. This has really revolutionized the treatment of breast cancer. Hundreds of thousands of patients probably over the next 10 years will not need to receive chemotherapy for their breast cancer based on groundbreaking work of Dr. Albain and her colleagues. I'm really excited that Kathy's being given this honor. It's not only her job and her career, but it's her passion and her ministry. You're really making your mark on the world and making it uh, so many lives better, impacting many. I'm very proud of you and love you so much. My husband and I, Jim, love Kathy very much, and we are so proud of her. 